I usually have branded oats ready to use, but uh, that day I uh, had a small amount, so I decided to use my small blender to uh, grind it. My uh, regular blender broke and I still haven't replaced it yet. So I usually, uh, I uh, use the old whey protein container because it's so humongous and uh, when I buy oats, it's usually in, um, at Paso, Mark 30. So in the bag of oats, as you can see on the thing, it's hard to keep it, uh, you know, safely in the uh, in the bag. So I just use the oat um, the protein container to put the leftover oats. And the part that I grind, I put it in the other uh, container. That's a whole uh, protein container that I uh, used. Um, first started using protein I used that particular brand and after a couple research I decided to just stick with uh, GNC brand for my own um, crazy reasons because there's so many um, supplement companies out there and GNC has been there forever I never heard anything negative about them if there is, uh, I haven't come across any article, so I stick with uh, GNC. So this is the oats that I grind. So now, this bag of banana, I bought it for five dollars, and it was, uh, you know, individual bananas. I guess the store had; uh, they just piled them in a corner. I went and grabbed everything. First, I I took half. Then when I uh, went to pay for it, and she said it was like two something, and I was like, you know what? Let me just grab everything, and uh, I'll make extra um, with it. And uh, it ended up being five dollars. And uh, what I'm doing here is that um, while I'm grinding, uh, I'm blending the bananas. Um, I'm putting some of the ingredients that I will be using like cinnamon and, um, and vanilla extra and this is I, I felt you know, it may look silly that I'm making uh, I'm using this small blend, um, blender that magic bullet but my bigger blender book and um, I have not uh, looked into buying uh, another one I need one but it's just a matter of time. So now I'm using cream of tartar. So I'm adding I'm adding some of the things that I'll be putting in the oatmeal cookies while I'm uh, blending the bananas. I have so many I have so many versions of this and I just this um, oatmeal cookies. I just decided to just uh, put this one in there. Cookies as my pre-workout and my post-workout, and 
this is such a good way to save and supplement. You just, all I have to do is just get over the and leave them. And I'm putting a little bit of creatine. One thing with the creatine, I put it, it's like the, the powder goes in the air. I, I could, I feel, I feel it in my uh, nostril when I pour it. And I'm putting a little bit of raisins. And there is absolutely no sugar added. The sweetness will be coming from the raisins. And I think some of the creatine has a little bit of uh, sweetness in it. So this will be the sugar. Now, um, this is uh, regular protein. This one, someone gave it to me, so I can go free. I can go on with free. oats that's what's gonna give it the texture um, the thickness if I put the regular oats without being grinded it's not gonna have any texture it will be all watery so when it's grinded it uh, sort of become like a flour for it and it uh, make it hard and uh, the texture will depend on how much uh, It's done pretty much, that's it. And I'm putting it in the baking pan. Oh yeah, I forgot to put some uh, baking soda. Okay, that's my measurement. So the first two, I didn't even bother taking it out. It's just only two, so I left it. So the first two, um, I don't have any. some part of it to make it go a bit faster. Put in the freezer so next time I'm not all I do is take it out from the freezer and then um, just bake it. So I'll put it in the cookies. I took one bite. If I didn't watch my mouth, I think I would eat some more. So there it is. This is uh, the I think it was the following day I usually put in one of those ziplock bags and then take it to the gym. So now this particular exercise um, I decided to put it in and I already did uh, my leg press, some other adapters, some leg exercises. So I don't do squats with weight anymore. So 
because of my lower back and my sciatica. So this is one way that I sort of uh, try to maintain, uh, I guess, my mobility for the squatting. Um, once I feel really good and I feel good about my lower back, maybe I'll stop losing weight. But for now, I try not to do it. So I put the band between. Uh, when I first started doing it, it was hard for me to find a spot. I think it was kind of look crazy at the gym because I'm trying different areas to put it and uh, usually the other squat machines uh, are taken and I came across and I thought, oh this is perfect so every time that I need to when I'm doing legs I take this band that's for the uh, gym the facility and I put it in here and do the squatting here is just uh, some twisting motion for my hips Decide. Actually, this is the first time actually I'm recording. I'm seeing it. There's a mirror across, but you know it's a bit far away. But looking at the camera to see how I'm doing it, uh, that's the first time that I'm actually uh, seeing it. So this is a different position, um, location that I decided to put it so I could look at uh, my form and things like that. So I made sure my body uh, pressed against the pen careful so it doesn't push up so uh, and keep my lower back uh, you know, neutral and here I think I've mentioned this in one of my uh, other videos uh, here I hang on this particular uh, squat uh, bar and all I'm doing is hold my core tight and I'm going different direction and focusing on the uh, the abdom not abdominal but mostly my lower back and my core here I'm really pushing back a little bit and as you can see I'm not swinging around um, uncontrollably I have control of all the movement going side to side sometimes I go in a circle and, uh, I go diagonally now you know, I'll do as much as I can to know what I'm so I realized that people started coming, so I was like, you know what, let me just uh, stop the camera, and uh, that's pretty much it. But I did not record my entire uh, workout. So here is another another time. It's not the same day. Um, even though I'm wearing the same shirt, but it's not the same day. Uh, I went to physical therapy for my lower back, uh, for my sciatica. Since there weren't that many people there, and I took my phone out, and I wanted to show uh, the machine that I, I think I've mentioned it several times, either in my Instagram. This is the machine. It has those electrical wires that uh, connect to the machine, and they put it in the area of your body that uh, you want to get that uh, whatever. There's the wires. So. 10 minutes is not good, it's not long enough.